He's down there, somewhere. Arantir, with a skull of shadows. I have to find him, challenge him, and end this struggle. The skull will be mine as it should, to do with as I please. Beware, Arantir. I'm coming. My name is Stephen Wolf, and with that kind of an intro, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. Hopefully, the last episode of Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. Hopefully. Uh, this is definitely the last area in the game, at the very least. It's gigantic, blooming death drops. Because reasons. I don't like this area in the game. Uh, it definitely feels like the final area, at least. You know, it's it's got death drops. And at this point in the game, if you've chosen the good guy ending, you have cool anti-undead weaponry instead of just fire-based weaponry. Piss. I think... There's also a knight around here somewhere. Or goodies. I, I honestly can't remember. Hmm. Health potion, I'll take that. It is frustrating how little they give you to work with in this final area. Right, where am I supposed to go from here? Am I supposed to take a flying leap over there? Am I supposed to go over there? What the fuck do you want me to do? I think I need to go over to that to partially release Ishtvan's body. Should be another chain somewhere. And there's like a specific way over to him. There we go. Eat your heart out, Garrett. Could be the right spot. What is this? Hey, there's Ishtvan. Stay down. Shit. 
Any other takers? I didn't know that little hole existed before. That's kind of cool. Oh, shit. Nah, I'm good. Felt like a trap. Oh. Oh. You're adorable. Okay, so I've definitely gone the wrong way around. I think. Ooh. Yeah, wrong way around. Yeah, I do enjoy the combat in this game, but sometimes it feels like you're trying to coerce a drunk, barely coordinated person That's one. through a stairwell. said anything about running. I was getting into a better sniper spot, bitch. Okay, that's enough faffing about him. This... Is he pinned? I think he's pinned. Okay. I feel good about my life. Yeah, that's a long way down. Is there no more wood here? No. No, this is all concrete. Stone. Dirty shit. This looks like a trap. But as my spider senses aren't going off. Bye, Felicia. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, he's just hanging out. <laughs> okay, where to from here? Oh, so you have to go up eventually. Alright. Oh, Thank you. The other peg that easy to get to? Is it really just? It is. That's two. All right, bye. Here we are. Ishtvan should be free now. Mm -hmm. I signed up for. Should probably put that. percent chance to do double damage on each of your um, super strikes 
I could just save up that last couple of skill points to get max stealth, and then I would be able to do some major cheese in the final boss fight. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, because <laughs> I love being cheesy, especially in this game. This game lets you be so cheesy. No. Four mana potions buried with you. I guess he wanted to go out with a couple of spells. Isn't there... I could have sworn. I could have sworn there was another... Giant? Yeah. Yep. Mmm, fuck. Y'all went down like bitches. Supposed to deal extra damage to undead. Fuck. Come on, come on, come on. haven't a bloody clue how you're supposed to fight that guy. Like, it's showing that if I undo this rope here, then that rock will swing. That's, that's pretty. What happens from there? The giant swinging rock is supposed to incapacitate him? That's inconsistent. How am I supposed to guarantee that? I finally have... Uh, I only have ten magic mushrooms, okay.
trick where when you ping it into the corner right there, you can. Mm. Yep, there we go. Ooh, full health potions. I have maximum full health potions. That's a good feeling. Where am I supposed to go from here? Yeah, that's just ambient energy escaping into the void. That's not helpful. I think I'm supposed to get over there somehow. So I am going to try... Oh, okay. Cool. Another giant glowy Jedi Consular light lightsaber bow over here. I order you to not. How are you coming out of raw stone? There is no dirt here. I know I don't really have a right to be bitching about this game. It is 12 years old, but... Certain design decisions... did not have to be made. That's better. Stay where you are. Prepare yourself. Bye. Cool. Oh, I have full health, sorry. You. Mm. All right. Now here's hoping the game doesn't die on the loading screen. No, maybe not. Hey, shiny, very shiny. do some claw-like shit with my hand just to be able to look, walk sideways, and also technically forward at the same time. Where the deuce am I? Oh, wait, doesn't this area lock? Yes, yes it does. Spiders, not again. Oh, it's just a civilian with far too many mana potions in his life. Yeah, okay. Well, there's another trap here. What do you do? So this is something I really respect about the game, is your abilities being useful all the way to the end.
shit, where'd the third one go? See, they're easy to deal with when you're not having to face tank their damage. <clears throat> of course, when I was fighting them, it probably would have gone a bit smoother if I was actually using my shield like an adult. And we're just gonna tightrope walk this to a locked treasure chest. Thank you. And the picks are still going through the answer. Health potions I did not need. This one's been on the safe side. There's like three of them, I'll be fine. And here's a question for game designers. Why is it in games like Dark Souls, games like this, and certain other RPGs, rings of health regeneration kind of suck. Like, obviously, I'm not, not expecting massive amounts of health to come back. It's a ring of regeneration. But at least a noticeable amount of health to come back would be kind of nice. Like, for Dark Souls especially, I understand not having certain items be overpowered, because then it becomes a, a matter of how long can you outlast your opponent. It doesn't become a matter of how effectively you can fight. But take, for example, the Rings of Regeneration in any Dark Souls game. It's usually one to five hit points back every second or every couple of seconds. That's kind of lame. Why not five hit points back every second for the starting ring? Hmm? Why not something respectable that can actually get you places? Can I freaking go through this doorway? Thank you. I don't even know where I'm going. This is back where I was. Thank you, game. So is there just not a way through? Or am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something that's kind of important. Like, did I look right instead of left? Yes, I did. Okay, I'm a fucking idiot. The only times I've seen items that regenerate health at respectable limits are like Diablo and shit. <laughs> really? Paper legs. Four leeches this time. Possible, but not easy. I see my son has laid his mark upon you. You have my thanks for his freedom. Guarantee shackles are undone. I shall help you to deal with this fool who has dared treat the souls of my heirs as slaves. That's one.
There we go. Eight. Eight, eight of the burn eight. Between Sunday and Monday, a day that will devastate. That's a tanker. At least that was where I first heard it. Oh shit, is this a loading screen? Enough for the stealth. No, I need two more. Urgh! Okay. Quick save. Could have sworn there was a way to cheese this. I gotta get down into that room and out. I could have sworn there was a really funny way to cheese this. to one of these chain bars. I'll just deal with the fights as they come. Don't move. Oh. Oof. Oof. Physics engines. I'm curious. Yep, now the lockpicks show up just fine when I take my armor off. It is literally just an issue with the armor. Are you flipping kidding me? That is so annoying. What's in here? Lamontian the healer. May his crypt succor those of pure heart. The succor? Oh, big words. Well done, game. Oh, there's an alcove up there. And the actual way to go. Alright, so let me... That let me... Yes. Let me just... Uh, oh. Healed. Whew. Oh, come on. Oh. Yay! Secret area. Mana potion, full health potions. And he can't climb worth a damn. I apologize if this area is really dark. I can barely see anything, so it's probably completely trash for you guys. Oh, they're waiting for me to reopen the door. Oh, you cheap bitches. All right. Cool. 
Oh shit. Ah! Aye, that was a bad idea. That's okay. I have a full health potion. I'll survive. As long as I don't have to deal with any more ghouls. I hate fighting ghouls. Oh, no, wrong button. Alright. Wow, you suck at this. I can't remember, but there was an ability you can get. I think it's adrenaline, that's what it is. It allows you to stock more adrenaline and inflict two fatalities in a row. If I didn't put points into magic, I probably could have had it. Eh, oh well. Die, creature. Oh, I'm good. Party body. Oh, it is fucking dark in here. Lockpicks are sideways. That is such a weirdly specific glitch. You know? I think this is a loading hall. Yep, this is a loading hallway. Okay. Please don't die. Please. Hmm. Awesome. Uh -oh. I smell an arena. empty area, I guess. I don't freaking know. There it is. Hey! The skull of Shadows. It's our last hope. We must take it back. Don't let it corrupt you, Seraph. Fight its lure. Arantir cannot vanquish the two of us. Sweet! Leanna's working with us. Aw, oh, damn it, we're on the boss fight. Okay, um... I guess we're gonna take Critical Hit. And I might as well take Magic Affinity. Because that'll help. Um, okay. Well, let's cheese. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. I want Liana to wait in this hallway because... Stay here. Stay there. Stay. Save it too. Okay. So we're going to drop as many guys as possible at range. Aaron Tier doesn't turn around, we can do some cheesy shit. So what I'm going to do, hopefully, maybe, uh, I'm gonna try and backstab him. <laughs> if it doesn't work, I'll find out immediately. Oh, the 
crunchy sound effects. Hi. Aaron's here. It's over. I see you have grown since our last discussion. But you have heard, have you? So in the interest of fair play, I shall also summon an ally. My centuries of heaven and your scan of two decades of life as a demonic dotage. Okay, so I gotta shoot the dragon a bunch of times. Literally, all I have to do to get the good egg, good guy ending, because you know there's the throne. All I have to do is just this. Bye. Ten centuries shall the fortress stand, walls of spirit wrapped in walls of fire, and horned lords shall bow their heads to one not yet born of the darkest sire. One century of blood and strife. The moon shall darken and none know why. The resting place at last is found of the seventh who soared so high. Traitor! You've grown as weak as your mother! Curse you, Aunt Isabel, for failing me! Have strength, Zareth! Use some of mine if you must! Ah! Hurry! Enough! Let the work begun by the Seventh Dragon be finished, here today, by my hand. Betrayer! I shall hunt you for the car that you are, you and your pretty friend! Remember that I am ancient and patient. One day I will be free, and I will teach you the full measure of agony! From greed or fear, you will decide. The Chained One is left alone. The Relic's power yet untapped, and Ashan's fate still yet unknown. All right, that was it. That was the good plus ending of Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. The reason I say good plus is the other good ending is with if you keep Xana with you instead of Lyanna, either by letting Lyanna die or killing her yourself, and the, but still locking away the dad. Uh, the bad endings, uh, the bad the regular bad ending is succeeding with Lyanna, but then freeing the dad so she's basically dead, or keeping Xana around and also freeing the dad, which is kind of a dick move. 
Uh, yeah, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. This uh, I beat this game many, many years ago. Um, the first I hate to admit it, the first time I ever played through this, I used cheat codes because I suck to video games. But it's really good to finally go through this game cover to cover and play it the way it was meant to be played, by actually playing it properly. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. I hope you guys had fun as well with this series. Um, is there a way to skip the credits? No, it's just going to keep going. Okay. Hey, you know what? Let's let's give credit to the people who created this. You know, a lot of people at Ubisoft really busted their ass to make this game. And they deserve all the credit. It was definitely different from how I remembered. Um... I remember a lot of the mechanics being better. <laughs> I, I remember a lot of the camp mechanics operating differently. I also remember, and this might have been because of me using codes when I was younger, I distinctly remember having more skill points or a more focused build initially when I was playing this. Because I distinctly recall being able to have all of the combat abilities but also stealth three, and that might have been um, that might have been because I wasn't very focused with my build. That 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 happens to me occasionally in RPGs. I'll try and get a little bit of everything, and by the time I hit mid game, it's an uphill battle because I'm spread all over the place instead of really focused on what needs to be done. That's happened to me a couple of times. But this was fun. Uh... Review, questions, comments, my thought process. I could have played better. I definitely could have played better. Um, there were a lot of fights where I took unnecessary damage because... R2! Hey, cool! Now I'm not taking damage. The shield's getting bashed, but I'm not taking damage. Oh, I can even shield bash and then hit them. Yay! Now I'm just gonna face tank it and punch him in the throat. That'll work. I was down to seven potions because of that behavior. Now, I definitely could have played more sword and board. You'd think with all my experience in Dark Souls, I would be able to play this just fine with the strategy and whatnot. Um, yeah. Francoise. Oh, because his C has the, the apostrophe on it. All right, cool. <sighs> that was fun. That was tiring, but that was fun. So even though I'm recording this, so I am recording this on the 23rd, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The most recent episode, Chapter 9, and this episode, the epilogue, are recorded on the same day. And I'm going to upload them on the 24th. On the 25th, uh, I'm going to start Dark Souls Remastered, so long as From Software sticks with their end of the bargain and actually releases the game on Steam... A, for half off, because I already own the, the original, and B, if they actually intend to release it on May 25th. I am very, very concerned that the Steam page hasn't dropped yet. They had no problem removing the Prepare to Die Edition Steam page. Like, you cannot buy that from Steam anymore. You haven't been able to buy it since May 9th. Which is really short-sighted, in my opinion. I would, if I was running things, I would have released the game, released the remastered edition first, and then very gently gotten rid of the uh, the original. That, that's my thought process, you know. <sighs> I was really pleased with the voice. I, I, I know. Uh, in, in, back in, in regards to uh, Dark Messiah, um, I honestly don't know very much about the Might and Magic universe. I did get the chance to play... Um, oh, what was it? Mandate of Heaven, I think? Yeah, that sounds vaguely correct. I have a magazine. There was an old uh, PC gaming magazine or Game Informer or whatever that had guides for Mech Commander, uh, Shogo Mobile Armor Division, uh, Might and Magic 7, Mandate of Heaven, 
an X-Files point-and-click puzzle game, commandos behind enemy lines, all sorts of cool stuff in that magazine. But I did get to play uh, Mandate of Heaven for a little bit. It's a very different game. It is that first-person perspective. It is real-time combat, which I think kind of hindered the game a bit. But it was this huge open world that you could explore. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I might end up going back to revisit it more as a more as a walkthrough than an actual let's play. It, it's difficult to do a let's play of RPGs, not because of limitations with the game. Far from it. It's with a game like Dark Messiah, or with a game like Dark Souls, or Dishonored, or Quake, stuff like that. There is a definite A, B, C, D through Z that leads you through the game. Like, this game had a definite start, middle, and end, and it was easy to utilize that. But with games like Kingdoms of Amalur, side quests forever, with games like Fallout 4, Radiant quests, you know, it's 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 interesting. I I might if I'm if there is a demand for it, I might eventually do a let's play of Fallout 4. That would be a lot of fun. I do have a lot of mods installed, uh, some of them radio mods, so I might have to be careful about those. But eh, sorry, I forgot to breathe. I think it would be fun later on if people would like to see it, a proper Let's Play of Fallout 4, focusing, you know, doing three different runs of, like, Brotherhood, Institute, well, four, technically, if I'm going to go with that route. It would have to be, like, a run for the Brotherhood of Steel, a run for the Institute, a run for the Railroad, and a run for uh, the Minutemen. That way you can really that way I can properly explore the quest lines and that sort of thing. A lot of areas would end up being recycled, and I would probably go through it one at a time. And there are a lot of quests that show up at the same time, but I would have to choose to not follow through. You see the problem? Like when you're playing through Fallout 4, just traveling from Lexington to Diamond City, you get the quest start for... Uh, well, if you've been playing the game and following directions properly, <laughs> uh, you get the quest start for the Minutemen. There's the radio signal for the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, if you're a high level, then you get the vault quest line. You get the um, automaton quest line. There's a lot of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of games I can play. But next up, other than finishing up Dark Souls 2, I honestly don't have any idea how long it's going to be until I finish Dark Souls 2. That game, uh... That game's going to take a while. I'm, I'm only at episode... 9? 10? I think I recorded episode 10. The Disciples of Sarath winners? See, I don't even know what the hell this is, but uh, their names are here, so... Hey. The Apostles of Might and Magic. See, I don't know what any of this is. F-C-Y, J-M-D-K, W-L-K-Y, what? Moon Unit. Hey, Zappa fan. Very cool. Yeah, I've been ranting since the credits got started. Okay, uh, I'm going to get going. I think the credits are done. We still have epic music, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Yep, that was the end of the credits. Cool. Well, I'm going to get going. That's enough ranting and raving from me. I hope you guys had fun with Let's Play Dark Messiah of Might and Magic. This has been quite a journey. It's good to get this game off out of my chest off my chest and out of my system um i'm probably not going to touch this again unless like a couple years down the road people want me to play through it again you know so uh well we're done with this game and that's all the time we have for today so until we meet again stay
classy, Internet.